Yo guys, how's it going? I hope you are all doing well. As you saw from the introduction, I've been recently playing around yet again with some structure blocks, at this time looking into how to make some pretty cool illusions in Minecraft. To do this, I looked into a concept called non-Euclidean geometry. That sounds like quite a complicated concept, but it really isn't. All non-Euclidean geometry means is, unlike normal geometry, where there's a set of rules, for example, uh, angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, or like here, you can see parallel lines are always the same distance apart from each other. So that's how normal geometry works, and that's the stuff that you would have been taught in maths class. However, non-Euclidean geometry it doesn't have to abide by these rules. So what this allows us to do is make some pretty interesting buildings that don't really obey by the laws of physics. For example, one of the rooms you saw in the introduction looks like it only has four mini rooms inside it, but actually as you walk around it, you'll see that it actually has eight. So if I walk around this, you'll see that I turn the corner eight times to end up in the original room. So how this is done is, as I said, using structure blocks, but the whole building is split up into quartiles. So each room uh, with their different colors are split up and copied using the structure blocks. As you can see here, I've done it for all of these four and I've done it for these four as well. So as you originally enter the building, I have a complete building here, which I just paste uh, to begin. It only has one structure block under this pressure plate here. So as I enter, you can see that the blue is on the right and the red is on the left. As I walk through, that initial pressure plate doesn't do anything because the structure blocks under this one here. The way the room is designed is you can't ever actually see the colour of the room diagonally to you. So I'm in red. As you remember, this one is blue here. But as I step on this pressure plate here, it activates the structure block underneath that then pastes the brown uh, room over the top of the blue room, replacing it. Uh, as well as this, what it also does is with the brown room, there's another structure block that's pasted in with it. This structure block then is ready to load in the pink room as I step on the pressure plate above it. So let's just say I step on the pressure plate. It essentially does this, which I've just loaded it, which is the other way of doing it. Um, now that it's loaded, you will see that it's loaded yet another structure block as well as the pink room. So you wouldn't have been able to see this, but as you walk around, it's then loaded up the pink room without you being able to see it as the player. When you step on this pressure plate, as you can imagine, it then loads up the black room. This room then loads up another structure block and so on and so forth. And it keeps doing this until eventually you end up back where you left off in the green room. So yeah, that's pretty much how this works. Um, it's actually really quite simple, even though it looks quite overcomplicated, because it is just a repeated concept that is just done over and over again. So it starts with the red, it then pastes the brown, the brown pastes the pink, the pink pastes the black, black pastes the white, and then it goes all the way back until you reach this original structure again. So what this does is, as you saw, it gives you the illusion that there is actually eight rooms within inside a four room area. This can actually be repeated if you wanted to do it all the way up. You could do any multiples of four, so 12, 16 rooms. Uh, it's basically just going to run out of colours eventually, but uh, you can just keep going around and around and keep pasting another room and another room and another room. But just for the sake of this tutorial and kind of the showing off of the illusion, I just kept it as eight rooms so it didn't go on for too long and get boring. So that's all there is to say really about this first illusion that I showed off. For the second illusion, uh, this one is actually, even though it's smaller and may seem simpler, it's actually more complicated. Let me explain what this one does again. So if I come in here, you'll see that you've got blue on the right, red on the left. If I go around these corners, as some of you will probably notice, um, I've only gone around the corner three times, but I've come out where I entered. Um, with blue on the right, red on the left. So this one works slightly differently in the sense that, as you can see, I actually started here, uh, and as I went around, it pasted the green room here, uh, but it was facing in a different direction, so it actually rotated the room and faced it out this way. Uh, what this can do is it can kind of trick your mind into thinking that you've gone around the full four rooms when you've actually only gone around three corners and ended up at the beginning. So the way this works is it takes the whole building and it breaks it down into individual rooms, like you saw with the one over there. 
Uh, what's different about this one is that the rotations do have to be different. Uh, as I entered the building, the door was here on the green room, but then as I exited, the door was here. So what this means is that if I wanted to make this go on forever, like I can do with that one, where you can just go around and around, I would have to build each of these rooms uh, in a different rotation. So what I mean by that is, let's say the door's facing this way on the green room, I would then have to build this again with the door facing this way, again with the door facing this way, and then finally the door facing this way. And I'd have to do that with each of these rooms. Uh, what this will allow you to do is create a loop where you can just walk around it and it will always be three corners to the exit or the entrance. Um, however, for the sake of saving my Minecraft world, I thought maybe I'll just show it off so that it works just at once. Because what you can do is you can copy the original structure which is just there and so whenever you want to do it again, you just paste it again and you can go, as, go around it as many times as you like. Yeah, so that's pretty much it guys. Uh, I'm actually working on another concept with structure blocks and non-Euclidean geometry. Uh, the hint I'll give you is that it's bigger on the inside, so do with that information as you will. But for today's video, uh, that's all that I'm going to be covering. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.